So basically, a few years back, I really do feel like there's been a three-year transition. So a couple years back, I was in, in competing in X Games and Speed and Style. I was doing really well in it. They took it out of X Games, and I instantly like panicked. I was like, oh my god, like, like am I being forced to retire? There's not an event for me to compete in, in anymore. So I basically, like, what am I gonna do? Like, are my sponsors gonna drop me? I'm not, com I'm not gonna be competing. Like, this is kind of scary. So I basically just ran after all these different things. Like, okay, I'm gonna go race trucks. I'm gonna start a clothing line. I'm gonna start real estate. I was so overloaded, trying to just scramble, do all this stuff. And to be honest with you, I don't even really feel like I was excelling at any of it. So in the midst of all the chaos of running after all this stuff, I get reconnected with Melissa, who's now my wife. I haven't seen her, and this is the first night we went to dinner. I haven't seen her in five or more years. Like we dated when, before we were both believers, and then the Lord kind of brought her back into my life. And uh, we go out on our first, you know, I called it a date. She was like, this is not a date. We're friends. <laughs> we're just going to dinner, buddy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, she's like, hey, Phil, you know, bring me up to speed. Like, what's going on? Like, what are you doing? And I'm like, you know, I kind of see I'm at the end of motocross. You know, they took my event out of X Games. But, I'm, you know, I'm trying to race trucks. I'm trying to do this clothing line. And, like, the clothing line was ready to be launched. Like, samples were done. The website was being done. We were about to go to production and launch it. And, uh... I'm doing real estate, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but I'm kind of just really seeing, I guess, what's the second phase of life look like? And she, she basically goes, have you ever asked the Lord? And I was like, seriously, like, wow. Fully convicted and thinking that is a very good question to ask. Because I didn't do that. It's almost like I made my plans and invited God to come along with what I thought what I needed to do rather than seek him and get some counsel and get some direction and then go. So I kind of had it backwards. But she like fully convicted me and I was like, I went home that night and I really did start to ask the Lord, like, Lord, what am I supposed to be doing? I wept for three months straight every single day in the sacred place. It's almost like he shifted something in my heart and I decided like, that's not it. I'm like, Lord, I'm, I'm, I just wanna, I said, what do I can do? And I was like in uh, Kansas City in the, in the, at, at one thing, uh, it's like a, it's a big uh, conference in the beginning of the year. And I just sat in in this meeting where they're talking about, it's called Intro to IHOP. It's basically like an internship, a three month internship to kind of like Bible college at the International House of Prayer in Kansas City. And I was just stirred and I'm like, that is, that is my summer. And I just got to this point now where I'm like, I'm leaving, I'm going to Kansas City, I'm laying everything down. I'm never in my life took a break from riding apart from crashing and having to take a break because I was injured. This is the first time in my life that I'm saying, Lord, I'm laying it down. I'm not quitting. I'm just laying it down for one season, three months to go to the International House of Prayer, to just go deep in the word and prayer and in worship and just encounter God and just allow him to launch me into the next 40 years of my life of whatever he has for me. If anybody's just wondering like, how did I even get to where I'm at and why I would even do this? is uh, me and my wife are gonna launch a website and it's gonna have our personal testimonies of what God has done individually in each one of our lives, how he's been brought us back together and what he's done in that and who God is. And we just wanna share that with you guys. So be on the lookout. It's gonna be ronnieandmel.com. It's not done yet, but it's coming soon. <laughs>